Welcome to our Queensland Manor review. Yeah, Queensland Manor review. That this is where we've been staying for the last month. Yep. And we're up there on the 14th floor. So two down, three down, third window down. Yep. Except we're on the street side. Mm -hmm. It's actually kind of cool in a real centralized location that Ayala's about a mile from here, yeah. maybe. Uh, we just went to Carbon. Uh -oh. No, uh, Colón. And that was a mile or so. Uh, it, it, it's a really centralized location. It's really, it, it's a... Basically, we're spending like 60, between 60 bucks. Or well, 60 pesos for fare. Like, we go to Colón, we go to Ayala. So it's like ranges from 60 to 65 pesos. Yeah, it's actually... Uh, really inexpensive that way and yeah even though we got the multi-cabin motorcycle the first time or two to go on someplace we still tend to take a cab because it's parking and everything else so but they've actually got a little hair studio in here Queensland Manor that there's a tavern and this Chinese, Chinese? and it's actually pretty cool. Come on up and take a check out our apartment or yeah. condo. Yeah. Cindy's working inside. And the inside of our condo. The, you'll notice I'm being a little bit quieter than normal. And that's because Cindy is still working. That uh, on the entryway, we've got a really cool mirror and it's put to American height. And it shows me that my hair really needs to be combed every morning. And in here is our bathroom. That it's just a small one-seater. <laughs> it's got a pretty cool shower. That I like that rain shower head. That the curtain rod over there in the corner. That yeah, the spring it kind of sprung, so we need to go down and pick up a new one. That I've tried putting it up a couple times and it doesn't go back up. The water heater is outside of the shower, which is kind of unusual around here, but it's plumbed in so that the bathroom sink, the shower, and the kitchen sink all have hot water. So it's basically a whole house instant water heater. The, the flow for the kitchen sink is just a little bit too little that if I turn on the shower, you get hot water but just the kitchen sink alone doesn't give it enough flow to turn it on. So it's kind of cool that this little divider works out well for our little bed. We got kind of a little bedroom that's just like an open wall bedroom. And as you can see the kitchen table, well, when mama and papa were here, we cleaned it off and everybody had dinner, but generally that winds up being my workstation that she likes working over there because she will frequently use the TV as a second monitor and that way she can hook it up to the laptop and use the TV as a second monitor. The apartment came, or the condo, came with pretty much everything you'd need. That it's got a decent uh, set for four for everything. And it's got most of the cookware. We use that pan a lot. That's why it's in the dishwasher, or that's why it's in the drying rack, is it got used for lunch. And it's got a small microwave. And we 
call them a dorm fridge, but it, it's got a small refrigerator for two people that I think a stove is supposed to go here, but they've got the hot plate. The hot plate seems to work well enough. We've got pretty decent closet space in here. And uh, the bottom three drawers have got linens and stuff like that that are permanent here. And on the top, there's a mattress that folds out and you can put for extra people that when mama and papa came in, we're gonna stay for overnight to catch the uh, ferry. We thought we were gonna use them, but uh, they want to be able to come in and catch a ferry the same day. And this is where all of our hangables go. That the other thing we really like about this place over a lot of the other ones we looked at is it has a pretty outstanding balcony. That with the kitchen table, dining room table, whatever table you want to call it, the way it is, we normally eat out here. And the other thing that was kind of a perk is it's got its own washing machine. It takes a long time to do laundry, but it's got its own washing machine and, and an actual Western style washing machine that, that runs it through all the cycles. It doesn't just agitate it and then let it set. And you have to hand wring it. This does the entire spin and everything. You just need to air dry it. And we have a pretty outstanding view of everything that I don't know how well you can see it or if you can see it and I don't know where my finger is pointing but over in this general direction is where that new Cordoba length bridge is going in the, the newest bridge going over to the south end of Lapu Lapu Island uh, where the airport is actually at Mactan Island and to an area called Cordoba uh, during the day I can never find I can never pick it out somewhere in this general area is where SM City is uh, I don't know if you can see it from here or not but over in that general area there's a big mirrored building and that's where Ayala Mall is so we're pretty centrally located for everything that Fuente Circle is actually back that way a little bit. Uh, that's within walking distance for me, that it, it's a short walk from here. Uh, I've walked up there a few times. And somebody is finally finished with work. And I think we can actually film the first half of this video about now. <laughs> 